The Sir John Guys Outdoor Stadium will host the game's opening and closing ceremonies. The outdoor stadium will be the competition venue for athletics, hockey, and the finals for rugby union, league, and soccer. Key elements of the outdoor refurbishment will include upgrading outdoor athletics track to international standards, while the interior of the 400-meter tracks will be upgraded to cater for international soccer and rugby matches. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill says the 2015 Pacific Games is a good gift to the nation given that the country will be celebrating its 40th independence while the government remains focused on assisting athletes to win gold. But I also uh, want to say that yesterday we met with the Queensland government officials uh, among many other issues like policing and health issues we discussed how we can uh, cooperate between the, uh, the sporting is uh, events. Uh, they have offered to train some of our athletes over the next uh, few uh, months and, uh, and weeks. Uh, I think we will work closely with the sporting administrators to identify athletes with, uh, uh, with the uh, opportunity that can be taken advantage of training them with a better facility and mentoring while we are building our own infrastructure. By the time the construction is completed at all games venues, PNG will have three world-class stadiums catering for up to 20,000. So for Sir John Guy Stadium here, it's going to be a brand new stadium and uh, it's going to expand to, to cater for all different sports that it hasn't done before. And we're getting rid of this bathroom toilet look behind us and going for a modern, updated, expanded uh, stadium, professionally designed, ready to rock and roll in 2015. The O'Neill Dion government is adamant on delivering the games on time while working with all sporting codes in further developing athletes and infrastructure. Sophia Rousseau, Trukai Sports.